Eclipse was designed so that it can basically have a plugin for everything, right? So it should really be open to any kind of uh, use case you want, you write the plugin for it. And this kind of vision you now with a plugin for everything, this was on the first vision slide we had. I still remember that, which we showed at Oopsla in 2001. Uh, and that's a key story for Eclipse, right? A plugin for everything. And I think what that really helped is what I made, the point I made kind of earlier, kind of to write plugins should be as easy as possible, right? For Eclipse, we said a plugin should be writable out of the box and I guess in, in one or two minutes, right? Without having to install a lot of stuff. Yeah, the key ingredients around the success of Eclipse started with the very, very first download. The thing that you got worked was able to be, was a Java IDE, it was fast, it started quickly, it was fairly small. So you got immediate gratification. You download this thing, you run it, and it was a really great IDE. It had incremental compilation, so you could just get working really quickly. It had a bunch of really advanced features that just worked really well. Eclipse is um, extensible, usable, and um, very much uh, enhanceable by the user themselves. It's open source. I think that is obviously the, um, everyone knows that this is open source and people can uh, create bug, people can support. If we, I want a feature, I can just go and add, uh, give a patch and ask them to uh, just put in rather than if I'm using a product, I can just wait for them to add those features. It actually solved the problem that it was out to, to solve. It made developers more productive um, and uh, it was fast. So there was, a, you know, the machines at that time were not that fast. And uh, especially the, the user interfaces of some of the Java components just were not blazing. The Eclipse UI was blazingly fast. A huge part of Eclipse's success was because it was open and extensible and open in, in the open source sense, but also well-documented, reliable APIs that people could build products on top of. The Eclipse IDE itself, if you download it and use it as a Java developer or a C developer, a PHP developer, Python, whatever your programming language, if you're using an, an Eclipse-based IDE, um, you are getting a free professional grade tool um, to help you um, use uh, develop whatever program that you're working on. In open source, it really is all about the community. Um, as a foundation, we're here to facilitate and host and, uh, and make things happen and provide uh, governance. At the end of the day, it's really the committers and the contributors and the end users that, uh, that, make, it, uh, that make it all tick. And it's through the active engagement of uh, the many committers from uh, many large organizations and individual committers that uh, are active on our mailing lists, they're active in making commits and uh, um, pull requests against the, uh, the projects that contribute to the Eclipse ID that has uh, made it what it is today. What I really enjoyed when I got back of the Eclipse ID development as a contributor was really the, the community at the beginning. Uh, a lot of people with very various skills, uh, various expertise, um, who are always there to help uh, and to mentor newcomers. I started as a, like everyone, I started as a newbie and, and I become an expert on some topics thanks to the support of the community, people who were really welcoming and and I would say compared to other projects, very skilled people. The Eclipse IDE uh, has enabled um, um, innovation by being the, the IDE of choice, the integrated development environment of choice for developers that, uh, that are solving uh, um, business problems of developing new applications that uh, require first-class collaboration and first-class edit compile debug where they really need to be able to get in, um, figure out what's going on, fix it, and keep moving. It has a commercially friendly license. So you can take the Eclipse platform and build a product on top of the Eclipse platform, embed an IDE, have whatever you like on top of it, and sell it commercially. Open source is a huge part of the story here um, because it was free as in um, you know, freely royalty free, but also 
free for anybody to, to use, modify, and distribute. Um, that's a big part of the story. But it's also important to recognize that the, the team who built Eclipse um, had been in the business of building um, tools for developers for many years. Uh, and the architecture that they picked that was, uh, or that they, they created that was so open and extensible um, was a huge part of the story as well. You know, developers could take Eclipse and it truly was a platform. Whether it was a platform that you wanted to develop more tools with, whether we're talking about systems engineering tools or, or, or um, uh, language IDEs, um, or again with the rich client platform, or um, you know, adding in modeling capabilities and building, being able to build um, graphical editors for doing systems engineering. In all of these cases, uh, you were able to build very complex um, tools, systems, or applications um, because of the open, extensible architecture um, of the, uh, the Eclipse IDE and platform. If you are interested, if any company is also interested, they don't have to spend time in uh, developing it from scratch. They can just add on top of the, that uh, and get the feature out of it. So I think um, uh, the interest will is there and it will stay. The Eclipse ID and the Eclipse community have faced some uh, some challenges, some competition, and have had some good and bad phases, just like any project. And I've been impressed uh, that after the, the competition, when the competition arrived, the Eclipse ID managed to stand really strong uh, on the business. And even more that the community, the Eclipse community, actually becomes stronger and more, more impressive in terms of skills than it appeared before the business challenge that the Eclipse ID faced. And all that, in my opinion, shows that Eclipse ID is a very resilient project. Uh, it, it can simply not disappear uh, just at all, like some people have, have planned years ago. Some competitors like to say Eclipse ID is dead and so on. And the truth is that, no, the, the more you hit it and the stronger it becomes, and I'm pretty sure it's going to last for a long time like that way. Early investment we made in Eclipse really helps us to keep it sustainable because from the beginning, we always thought whatever we build has to last, right? And the way we do it is by really focusing on quality APIs. And we also focused on stability, right? So if you break users and break APIs, you lose kind of a lot of the community. And I think this early focus we had when we built Eclipse on stability and also looking forward and not exposing too much, right? So controlling, controlling the extensibility allowed us to really build Eclipse so that it lasts. And I'm confident it will last for another 20 years. Happy birthday, Eclipse.